I'm Celeste Malloy. I am a candidate for Congress in the 2nd Congressional District of Utah. What do you think are the interests of Utah's military bases and military members that need protection? I haven't served in the military. Two of my brothers have. Uh, my grandpa did. I have uncles who did. I come from a very military family. I think we need military bases that are efficient and focused on military readiness. Anything else within the military is a distraction. And if we want peace in the world, we have to have a strong military. So from the beginning, I've said I want to be on the House Armed Services Committee. And the reason is that I think that's really important to Utah. We have uh, Hell Air Force Base, we have other important installations, several of them in the second district. And we have a lot of private industry that's dependent on those DOD installations. And we need somebody in Utah who's keeping an eye on them. How would you work with the feds when it comes to protecting Utah's best interests when it comes to these public lands? So this is what I've been doing most of my adult life. Uh, public land is my area of expertise along with water. So I have a lot of experience working with the land management agencies. One of the things that I would like to do as a member of Congress is review the authority that the agencies have and compare it to what they're doing and defund anything they're doing that's outside of their authority. I think that really helps the relationship between the state and the federal land management agencies. We need more state involvement and less um, agency overreach. What I'd really love is to see Utah have title to the land, but until that happens, management's really important. What do you have to say about the state of the economy, inflation, financing the government, all that jazz? Every time somebody asks me what my top priorities are, I say inflation, spending, and government overreach. I think they're actually all government overreach problems. Um, the government has made inflation worse by pumping a lot of federal dollars into the economy, also by executive orders that have made us so we're not energy independent anymore. That drives up the price of energy. I think it's up 24% during this administration. And when energy prices are up, food prices are up, and building prices are up, and shipping prices are up. So the, the federal government being involved in things it shouldn't be doing, or changing directions, is one of the root causes of inflation. So I would, I would address that by addressing the overreach. Um, and then we've got to get our spending under control. Uh, I'm willing to vote for any bill that's moving us in the right direction, but we've got to be cutting back our spending. What do you see is the role of Congress or a member of Congress in all of what has happened in the Supreme Court in the last little while? We have separate branches of government and they have their own functions and there's only so much Congress can do um, in the Supreme Court space. One of the things that Congress can and should do is pass better bills that are written so that the agencies who are implementing them know what it is Congress wants them to do. What keeps happening is Congress writes a vague bill, it goes to the executive branch, they interpret it, they write rules, they enforce it, and then somebody sues, and then the court ends up saying what the bill meant. Uh, we could avoid that if Congress was more clear in the first place with how we write bills. Uh, but the other thing that I think has been interesting lately with the Supreme Court is that the court seems to be almost daring Congress to do a better job. When, when the court's signaling that it doesn't want to be as deferential to agencies, it seems to be constantly calling on the legislative branch to do a better job and not give the agencies as much leeway, which is also what I want to do. So I think there's a good alignment of interests here where we could maybe actually rein in some of this federal overreach. If you're elected, you'll barely be in office by the time you have to file to rerun. Yes. How are you feeling about that and will you refile? I will absolutely refile. I think it's wasting the constituents' time to run for half of a Congress and then not run again. I am aware of the timeline. I've known that since I got into this race. It turns out I've never campaigned before. Now that I'm doing it, I actually like standing in front of people, talking policy and answering questions. So I'm looking forward to doing it again. Uh, I think it will be a lot different the next time around because I can talk about the things that I've done as a member of Congress instead of the things that I've done as a staffer. I'm looking forward to the opportunity. Utah or BYU? Um, I went to law school at BYU, so between those two schools, I definitely have to choose BYU, but my first love is always going to be Southern Utah University. Okay, Celeste, so are they sun bears or are they humans in costume? I've never seen a sun bear before, but that definitely didn't look like anything I've seen in nature. What it reminded me of is those old Disney cartoons about the national parks and the bears that talk and pick up trash. Um, but I think I'm gonna have to go with human in costume because that didn't look like anything I've ever seen that occurs in nature. If the FBI were to do a background check or just a security check or something and they found something silly, what would it be? 
I think they'd be shocked at how much cottage cheese I buy. One of my favorite snacks, I got this from my grandma. She's 90, it's her go-to. I like to eat cottage cheese with uh, potato chips. And a lot of people think that's really strange, but I eat it fairly often. The race to replace in-depth coverage on KSL News Radio.